Aye. <laughs> All right, guys, what I got for you here today is the latest range of Paw Patrol figures for the new Rescue Knights series. I believe it's season eight. We've got all the vehicles, including Sky, Rocky, Marshall, Chase, Rubble, Zuma, as well as Ryder there, who came in an exclusive pack with uh, other figures of the Paw Patrol gang, as well as some dragons here, some baby dragons. We don't have the bigger dragons. They're not available in Australia yet, but I do have this dragon here, the big Sparks, who comes with the exclusive claw. Who sits in there? I'll show you guys him a little bit later, as well as Castle HQ. Give you guys a look at the Castle HQ playset, which all these figures go with. So let's check this out. First one we have here is Sky, and she's in her usual helicopter, who comes with the dragon symbol on the side there. Now, to make her activate to be able to fire out the projectiles, you gotta push down on it like this. That makes these two things come out the side there. Bang, bang. Maybe I'll put them both in show what it looks like when you push down like that. So you can see them both pop out. Here we go, you ready? Oh, that didn't work. There we go. Hey, and it makes the, the blade spin as well. So in there you'll see two projectiles. These projectiles will shoot out once I push the button, which is located just here. I'll push it out. You'll see it shoot out. You ready? Let's shoot this one this way. And this one here. There it goes. As you can see, it's right there. All right, so that's Scott. Next one here we have is Rocky. Rocky, complete with the dragon symbol, the rescue nice dragon symbol on the front of Paw Patrol. And the same on both sides. So I believe it's Rocky, he's just got the button on top here. So you push the button like that and you watch. It makes his dragon tail uh, shoot out with a hook as well. And to make it go back in, you just got this. Just push it in like that. So that's Rocky, he doesn't shoot anything out, he just has the uh, the dragon tail. This is Marshall, who apparently also doesn't shoot anything out, but you know, just the Rescue Knights version of Marshall here. You'll see you've got the water in there, the water cannon. So this one here, you push down on the top, like you have with one hand, thing out like that, there you go, that shoots up. And this here, you'll see the water, you'll see here the water just does that. It doesn't actually shoot out, it just goes in like that. Um, he's a bit hard to put back together, so I'm not gonna do it with one hand, so let's put him back like so. Here we have Chase. Let's get Chase through here. Chase, he does have projectiles. Let's get Chase here, spin him around. So to get Chase to activate, you gotta pull this down. Make that fire up. Let's fire these at the castle, shall we? You ready? Oh, oh, what a shot right up in the top. Let's see if we can go two for two. You ready? Oh no, that was a bit of a fail, that one. But at least you can see that one landed securely in there. So that is Chase. Again, a bit difficult to sort of pack up, I think. I'll do this, so we won't bother doing that. We will put him back. Here we have Rubble. Rubble is a bit bigger than the other ones, as you can see. He's a bit higher there, but um, he's got his usual bulldozer wheels on the side, which don't actually roll, but we'll spin him around. All right, so this one's similar to uh, Rocky. You just push the button here, and it makes his tail spit out like that with the, the ball. There you go, that spins around. And to put it back in, you just push it in like so, like that. And finally here we have Zuma, Zuma. The George Harrison of the Paw Patrol gang, I like to call him, the unsung hero. So this one here, I believe you've got to pull down on the back here, that makes that shoot up, and he has three discs. And to load him, you flick up this tab here, that kept that zoomed out, you flick that up there, that flung out when I pushed the button, flick that up, and you put the three discs in like so. That's one, let's get it in focus there. Two, uh-oh. And three, right, close that up. And what should happen is it should shoot out. One, two, three, there you go. So that's Zuma's little projectile. Fancy hoota duty. All right, so that is all of the Paw Patrol gang in their new Deluxe Rescue Knights vehicles. Next up we have here Ryder, who is a figure that comes in an exclusive pack that also features, I believe, a rubble, a chase, a Sky, maybe a Marshall? I don't think Zuma or Rocky get featured in that set, which is a shame. Because, you know, you could look after those guys as well. But this is Ryder. One thing that surprised me that the figure doesn't have any articulation. He can't move his arm. So, kiddies, if you're watching this, his arm can slightly move, but don't force it because it probably will break off. But you can turn his head, so you can have him pointing in a different direction. Looking at certain directions, but you can't move his arm, kids, so don't try and do it. You might break it. And we get these three dragons. One of these orange ones came with the uh, Castle HQ. The other three dragons came with the exclusive set that featured Ryder. So let's check out this guy right here. This is Sparks. 
the big red dragon, <laughs> complete with uh, Claw, who is inside there. Claw is the new bad, he's the new humdinger. This is actually one of the best things that uh, have come out in the Paw Patrol series for a while. This dragon's great, because you've got a button underneath here, you'll see the button there. Watch what happens when I pull that button. Goes. So kids can now fly the dragon around, and then what you do is if you want to shoot this uh, fireball that's in his mouth here, or more of his nose, but if it, you want to shoot it out, you just got to pull his head back like this. Hey, there you go, and it, and it opens his mouth at the same time. Hello, Paw Patrol gang. I am here to shoot fireballs at you. So take Claw out, so I can give you guys a look at what Claw looks like. There he is, the new baddie. Looks too cute to be a baddie, though, don't you reckon? No, he is a bad dude. Don't hang out with Claw. All right, so that is Sparks the Dragon, a pretty cool toy that I guarantee you Elliot is going to have a lot of fun playing with. So here it is, Castle HQ name. Maybe thinking that looks a bit smaller than what it was just before. And you'll see why right now. Because what you do is if you pull this hard enough, <laughs> you got to be careful. But if you pull it hard enough, it does that. And if you pull it really, really hard, this should flop down as well. But I didn't want to pull it too hard and make up too much noise and wake up the kitties that are out there having a sleep. But that's what happens in here. You can shoot at this. Shoot at the camera. You ready? Hey, there you go. That's the uh, the net to try and capture the dragons that are coming to get the Paw Patrol gang. So we'll put that back up there like so. But this is Castle HQ, the new Paw Patrol playset tower, basically. Similar to the movie tower, just half the size. Still pretty pretty big though, once you've lifted up the um, the periscope and made it the full size. So you'll notice here this door that features the logo on the front there, of course. It comes down the drawbridge, there you go. And the figures, I'll get one of the figures here. Let's get uh, Rubble, for example. I've got Rubble here. Rubble here, you'll see, in his uh, in his Rescue Knights bulldozer. All of the figures, except for Sky, Sky, because she flies, so she doesn't go through here. All the vehicles can fit through the doorway. Isn't that awesome? So you have a lot of fun sending all of the dogs through the doorway. I'll do it a side on as well, so you can see what it looks like. So we'll put Rubble to the side. Let's get Zuma, shall we? So you'll see here Zuma, there he is. Put the door down, Zoom wants to go back to Castle HQ. So it goes through there, and he's through the back. All right, so let's spin it around, shall we? Still got the uh, the thing from Chase's car, I believe that was. Yeah, Chase's car, so we'll put that to the side. So here we go, there's lots happening here in this place. So we'll push that down again. All right, so this is what it looks like from behind here. You've got the periscope at the top, which can move up and down like so. It just clipped in there like that. Took a while to put it together. So if you're a parent at home watching now, be prepared to spend a good 20 to 30 minutes getting this all set up properly with the stickers and everything. There's a sticker in there. Some stickers now to put those there. So that's the castle from the, from the outside. There's a ladder for the pups to climb up. So let's get a pup, shall we? Let's get Zuma. So the pups can go in there. They climb the ladder and they look out at the periscope. Like so. Down here we have another net missile projectile thing. So you obviously you push that button and it will shoot out to the net. Pups can shoot out nets and try and capture the dragons. We also have a sticker that I had to put on there. That one looked a bit out of place, looked a bit odd, but no, that's where it's set to go. Here we have platforms that fling down when you lift up the um the, the periscope from the top before. They come down so the pups can sit on there and look out and say, hey look, Ryder, there's a dragon coming. We go down here, we have some gold, just chilling out in here. There's another ladder for the pups to climb up. Now this place it also comes with a ladder. This is the ladder. Now I've been told the ladder's supposed to go there. Now this is one of the cooler features of the castle here. So we'll just move the ladder out of the way. This here, what looks like just a plain ordinary room, if you spin it around. Whoa, look at that. There's actually treasure hiding in there. Woohoo! That treasure comes with the uh, with the playset as well. All right. We'll spin that back around us, so there we have it. You can have this ever way, any way you want. Let's have a chase sticking out there. That's probably the better way to have it like that. And another two little sort of sections of the tower here for the people to stand guard. Down here we have Chase's uh, chair. Well, Chase came with the playset, um, a different a different Chase, not this one. This is one the one that came with the vehicle. But um, it's apparently the Chase can sit in the chair there. That's just a stationary chair by the fire. And now uh, there's a Paw Patrol logo painting at the top there as well. Now, this is a pretty cool feature here as well. So, we'll, close, get down here. we'll go down here, we'll get one of those dragons. This is the dragon that came with the playset, this little one here. So we'll put him here. So here we go, just dragging, just chilling, having a good time. But then, wait a minute, uh-oh, do I hear Claw coming around? Yes, I'm here, and I'm going to do this. 
Ah, oh, take that orange dragon who has done nothing wrong. Oh, but what about me? So you can either rescue the dragon by doing this. So we'll get Zuma. Hey dragon, you're orange like me. Ah, oh, let me help you. You can either open the door, and the dragon can come out and say, and say, thanks, thanks Zuma, that was great. Now I can be happy. No worries, little orange dragon. Or we can put the dragon back in there and you'll notice if you spin this place up around once more, the dragon can also rescue itself by just bursting through this wall. And out it comes and it says, you can't hold me, I am a dragon. All right, so that is the Castle HQ playset. It is valued in Australia at about 60 or so dollars, and I think it is well worth the money because Elliot's only had this for a day or so, and he has spent all afternoon playing with it. He's absolutely loved it. There is enough going on here for the kids to enjoy. I particularly like the fact that all the vehicles, except for Sky, obviously, because she is a helicopter, drive through the door. It just adds that extra element to the um, the, the playtime, so they can actually recreate the scenes from, from the show. There's a projectile from the front. There's a periscope from the front as well with the Paw Patrol symbol uh, outline there through it. We'll just spin it around once more. We'll do the Paw Patrol logo on the flag as well. There we go. All right, spin it around. But yes, as I said, a lot happening. You've got the, um, this, bit, this bit here. They can fall down to the cage. You've got the door that opens or you can burst through the wall the front there. You've got these things here. I want to do that feature again where you go up and down, but you do need to be careful though when you're going down because it's a bit difficult. So be careful, kids, you don't break it. I don't want to make too much noise now and wake up the kids, but that's what happens. You just basically push down. Oh, see, it was noisy. See, told you. You've got to be careful of those things. It's very, very noisy. I'll try and lift it up once more. There we go. And then just push that down. All right, so that is the Castle HQ play set. Hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button to support the Nerd Daddy channel here. Going to be plenty more videos coming up here on a regular basis. Videos for the kids of all ages on this channel. You're going to be seeing some old school retro toys as well as some newbies just like this new Paw Patrol Rescue Knights playset. Thank you once again. Hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video, share it with your Paw Patrol loving friends. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much again for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.